Hello everyone, so today I wanted to give my thoughts on which skin is actually better, Nightbringer Kane or the Prestige version. In order to answer that question, I'm going to compare each form and their individual abilities based on sound effects, visuals, models, and overall feel. Also, I will note that all the sound effects are pretty much the same, so this is mainly based on the visuals. So starting off with base cane, the prestige model is insanely better, like there's no comparison to be had, the color team makes sense, it doesn't give me that off vibe I got when looking at the base model. Accurate skin color, the scythe especially with a split between red and blue is gorgeous. Now, I will say, if you're using the Deathbringer Chroma, base model can also look really sick, but for the sake of this video, I'll only be comparing models with this base skin. So onto the abilities, they are pretty much the same, Q feels slightly better on Prestige, W is the same, E is the same, although it feels more polished on the visuals, which is what Prestige skins seeks to achieve, so that's a good thing. And R is the same, they're all just recallers pretty much. But when it comes to base cane, Prestige is the clear winner, just because of the insane gap between the in-game models. Now let's talk about Rost. The Prestige model, again, is far superior, more detailed, and gives a way more grandiose vibe than the base skin. The only issue I really have with it is the spikes behind the scythe that take a bit too much space and give the scythe a weird shape. But with this aside, Prestige model still wins. The abilities is where a more noticeable difference comes in. The Q, while being similar, the visuals on Prestige are slightly better, and it just feels overall heavier than the base one. Prestige W is far better, the effects on the ground are just way more powerful, and again, it feels like the heavy, important ability it should be, which was lacking in a base skin. The E is difference is akin to base form, same overall feel, more polished on Prestige, and the details on Prestige model are pretty neat to look at while traveling through walls. The ultimates are basically the same, although I may actually prefer the base skin ultimate just because I think the scythe is the only part of the model that is better done on the non-prestige version, and it's obviously the main focus of that ability. So overall, prestige rust as a whole is superior in my opinion. So what about Shadow Assassin? Well, in this case, it's quite the opposite. The base skin model is way better than prestige, the color blend just makes more sense and especially the scythe on prestige shadow assassin has those spikes behind the blade that really look like fish fins and it's overall a weird look the abilities are pretty much all the same i don't think there is any point to go over them individually other than the fact that i think they're all slightly better on the base skin due to the color team so to answer the ultimate question which one is actually better well it obviously depends. The good thing about Kane is that even with the skin's flaws, you can optimize things depending on which form you want to go. For example, I'll probably only be using Prestige for Rust and Base for Shadow Assassin, although I will say the Black Chroma looks really sick on both and on Base model as well, unlike the normal skin. But if I had to pick a winner independently of Chromas as I stated earlier, it would be Prestige. The model on the Base skin and Rust are just underwhelming. And well, that's two against one, and Shadow Assassin is just a slight improvement and ultimately comes down to color taste. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you around. Peace.